of mental and emotional stability are missing. <clears throat> Mark gives us the account of the disciples at sea during a sudden storm. The passage speaks to the absence of peace in the lives of the disciples who were on board this vessel with none other than Jesus, who was asleep in the stern after a long day of prophet speaking and ministering. Just the fact that Jesus was on board the boat should be more than enough to keep the disciples at peace. But even nature took over and allow for fear to set in. And we find the disciples frantically trying to wake Jesus up that he might get them out of the predicament they were currently in. The passage goes on to show us Jesus admonishing the disciples after calming the wind and the waves. <clears throat> for allowing fear to enter into their hearts and for their continued lack of faith. This passage gives us a good illustration of what we see in everyday life. The absence of peace, joy, and love. The very thing we should have been striving for to have an abundance of as we travel through its life. You see, we try to fill the gap, as it were, with material and worldly things, only to find out that we are still left unsatisfied, still left wanting. We go out of our way for gift giving and gift receiving. <coughs> but our spirits are still left desiring more. What should be at the top of your Christmas list? It should be the perfect gift. One that does not need get wrapped or a big bow on the top. What should be at the top of your Christmas list is an intimate and sustaining relationship with the Lord, which will allow those basic things that are missing or absence in your life to fill your souls to overflow. All I want for Christmas is peace, joy, and love. But they cannot be born. They cannot be bartered for. They cannot be taken from someone else or from an unsuspecting person. You see, like house when you have endured enough of life storm. You have been knocked around and tossed from one side to the other. You have the bru the bruises of the life to show for. There's truly nothing money can buy that make a fitting gift for us. One greater than all the material things in life. <clears throat> what we need, Lighthouse, is the perfect gift. The one born in Bethlehem of Judea in the town of David. A gift that Illuminated by the star that shone in the east. Yes. A perfect and everlasting gift. He is the Messiah, our Lord. With his birth came peace, joy, and love, which have been missing in the hearts of mankind for many years. It is time, Lighthouse, 
to allow peace, joy, and love to fill us to overflow. Amen. That in the aftermath, we will not see any senseless murders and acts of violence. That there will be no need to carry weapons of any type. In the aftermath, Lighthouse. We should no longer be afraid to walk the streets at night or to allow our children to play in the playgrounds of this life without the fear of them being shot or killed. The fear for their lives. This Christmas, let us not look under the Christmas tree, but let's look to heaven from where our help and our strength comes. Yes. Let us look to heaven and thank God for that perfect gift, the birth of Christ. Our Emmanuel, wonderful counselor, mighty God, yes. everlasting Father, Prince of Peace, yes. King of Kings and Lord of Lords. What is at the top of your Christmas list? All I want is peace, joy, and love. Amen. I go, amen. Father, back down on this one. Is that my grandchild? Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. And as we prepare to close, it's good to <clears throat> have a church that, I, that is alive. Some preacher off the ground, my children are talkative when they sing during the worship service. But you know, that's a good thing. Because you know, the church is alive and has you and young children in the midst that one day will carry the church along to greater things. So as we prepare to close, we want to issue the invitation to discipleship. And we just want to simply say to those who are tuning in and those of us here, as we stand on the pinnacle of the birth of Christ. Do not take life for granted. If you have not given yourself over to God, make this season of giving, this season of celebration, this season of embracing the birth of Christ, the time of when you finally say to God, I want to be yours and for you to be mine. If you have not received Christ as your Savior, he said to you simply to come by way of baptism. <clears throat> if you've been between churches and trying to figure out what your next step might be, we invite you to come and to join the lighthouse. Make Lighthouse your church home. If you have been away for a very long time, you're tuning in, we just want to say to you that you can come by way of rededication of the faith. You may not think you have, but resolves deep in your spirit. However, you choose to come. God wants you to come. For he stands in front of you with his arms. Open wide, welcome all of you into his presence. They might be a blessing to you as he had meant to all of us. With that said, we want to <clears throat> prepare for the benediction. To him who loves us and has freed us from 
our sins. By his blood and made us a kingdom. Preach to his God and Father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen.